During the design and installation of a proper subsurface drainage system, there are certain important factors to take into consideration. A detailed survey is the foundation of a good drainage system design. Firstly, an accurate topographic survey is very important. It can be done either by quad bike for smaller targeted areas or aerial borne LIDAR for larger areas. Proper profiling of the soil is important to determine the soil physical properties. During this process, the depth of restrictive and impermeable layers are determined. The proper measurement of the hydraulic conductivity of the soil or the KSATs is very important in determining drain spacing. It is important that this is measured on site and not estimated as it can differ greatly. Something often overlooked during the design of a drainage system is the chemical properties of the soil, be it salinity or iron or manganese oxide which can cause oxidation in the pipes. Next, a detailed study of the problem areas is important. Firstly, they need to be determined what causes the problem. Secondly, it is important to determine exactly which areas are affected. This is done by viewing historical satellite imagery, obtaining yield maps from the client or electromagnetic survey data if available. It is important to determine the correct drain depth and spacing by using the survey data and inputting this into the workout formula and not to determine this just by gut feel as it can greatly affect the cost of the drainage system. The correct type of drainage pipe should be determined by taking into account the silt and clay content of the soil as well as particle size. Collector mains should be properly sized by using Manning's equation and also planning for future expansion of the system. The correct minimum and maximum grades should be used when installing a drainage system to prevent pipes from silting up. A chemical and irrigation management plan has to be created if salinity is the reason for drainage, as this can greatly affect the term over which salinity is drained out. Next, a type of design that is suited for the site should be determined. If only a subsurface drainage system is used, the layout of the system must be determined, be it targeted, herringbone, double main or grid. Determine if the site is suitable for a water management or sub-irrigation system. Water table management is viable in soils that have a natural water table. This system allows you to regulate the level of the water table within the soil throughout the season to prevent damage to plant root systems. Sub-irrigation can be added to a water table management system. This works by supplementing the water table, be it from stored drainage water or an external water source. When going into the installation of this well-designed drainage plan, there are certain important considerations that you or your contractor should take into account. The three most important factors during installation is the accuracy of the equipment used, the design of the drainage plow that is used during installation, and doing the connections of laterals to collect mains correctly. The trenchless mechanical installation method that AgriDrainage uses makes use of a drainage or tile plow that seamlessly install the pipe into the soil by making use of the latest state-of-the-art GPS equipment. This ensures that the pipe is installed accurately and exactly according to the design plan. While installing, the equipment also records an as-built plan for record keeping and to ensure that everything has been installed to design standard. After your drainage system have been installed, it is important to ensure that all outlets are correctly installed and fitted with animal guards. The trenches left by the drainage or tile plow should be correctly closed. By straddling the trench with a tractor and implement, it is very important that no vehicles are driven with wheels in the trench as this could damage the pipe. The basic maintenance of a subsurface drainage system is very simple. Firstly, you should ensure that all outlets are kept clean and that the animal guards are correctly installed and checked regularly. Secondly, no trees or reeds should be allowed to grow close to the drainage system as the roots may block the drainage pipes. Thank you for watching this video. 
For more information, please visit our website at www.agridrainage.co.za.